7 o'clock tonight. KCAL 9's Peter Dowd is there with the latest. Peter. Juan, I just spoke with fire officials. Right now, exterminators are still out here making sure all the bees are gone after dozens of people say they were stung. This is where the hive was located, on the ground and inside of a utility vault and right outside the auditorium here at Pasadena High School. They say the hive became defensive when hundreds of people attending a graduation ceremony accidentally walked right by it. Take a look at this video from Sky 9. When firefighters doused the hive with foam to calm the bees down before it was destroyed, and here's cell phone video from the fire department. This all began around 7 tonight when hundreds of students and parents were attending a middle school graduation being held here. Paramedics initially responded to a call that more than 30 people had been stung. They ultimately treated four people, including a young boy who was stung repeatedly. They say no one stung had a severe allergic reaction or needed to go to the hospital. We spoke with one student who says she was terrified after being covered by bees. It was actually pretty scary because I thought they were going to sting me because I'm allergic, so I could have went to the hospital. And there was like a whole bunch of bees on my dress, and I tried to shake it off. I was running everywhere. There was bees in my hair. I was trying to like get it off, and everybody just ran inside. Despite the chaos, the graduation ceremony continued as planned. Fire officials say this could have been a lot worse since these were European and not Africanized bees, which are typically much more aggressive. Coming up on our sister station, CBS 2 News at 11, you'll hear more from people who say they were also stung by bees and chased, and also hear from fire officials why the drought played a key role in this attack. Reporting live in Pasadena, Peter Doubt, KCAL 9 News.